Hello, it's Sam Matthew here from the Nations of Sanity Project. I'm just doing a video in response to a criticism that's been made towards this project, uh, which I welcome, by the way, and anyone watching this, um, please know that I do seek scrutiny and criticism for this project and for this idea. Um, so please uh, be forthcoming with any criticism or scrutiny you might have. Um, and this video is to address the claim that forcing freedom or more specifically enforcing the non-aggression principle is a contradiction. That's the criticism that's been leveled at this project and that's what I'm responding to in this video. Um, now for anyone who doesn't know what the Nations of Sanity project is, the project is built on the assertion that the only way to create a truly free society is to establish the non-aggression principle as the law through a universal peace agreement. And for anyone who doesn't know what the non-aggression principle is, it is the moral principle that comes from the concept of self-ownership, which is the idea that every individual has right and responsibility over only their own self. And basically what we're saying is, is that crime can and should be objectively defined by this simple concept of individual self-ownership, rather than be decided by the arbitrary dictates of ruling authorities. Now the criticism is, is that it's a contradiction to enforce the non-aggression principle as law and more generally that it is a contradiction to force freedom onto people. Um, now this is incorrect um, and the reason why is, and this, this is, it's important to understand what the non-aggression principle is to understand why this is an incorrect uh, observation um, because the non-aggression principle prohibits the initiation of force against peaceful people. Because, based on the concept that everyone has right over them, their own self, if I have right over only myself, and you have right over only yourself, then it is uh, basically self-evident from that concept that it is then wrong for me to aggress against you in any way, to violate your self-ownership, because the only person who has right over you is you. So... Um, People have suggested that, well, then, in that case, I don't have the right to enforce the non-aggression principle on other people because I don't have right over them. But the beauty of the non-aggression principle is that you don't need to have right over people to enforce it because the non-aggression principle doesn't involve, doesn't involve violating other people's rights. It involves protecting people's rights because enforcing the non-aggression principle is by definition an act of, uh, of defense not necessarily self-defense it could be defense of others but it is an act of defense now because the non-aggression principle doesn't prohibit all uses of force it doesn't prohibit defensive force so the defensive force required to enforce the non-aggression principle doesn't conflict with the non-aggression principle in any way because that's not what the non-aggression principle prohibits. The non-aggression principle prohibits the initiation of force against peaceful people. Now that's something that's required when a lot of the laws of today are enforced, like drug laws being an obvious example, then that requires the initiation of force against otherwise peaceful people. And that's why those laws are bullshit and shouldn't exist, uh, if you could excuse my language. So, um, what we're saying is, is that what is and isn't a crime shouldn't be decided by people. It shouldn't be decided by whether it's democratic, you know, democratic majority or whether it's some ruling dictator. It doesn't matter. Crime should not be defined over what we want crime to be. It can and should be objectively defined by the simple concept of self-ownership, which is just the idea that every individual has right over only their own self. And when we accept and understand that concept, what is and isn't a crime becomes objectively uh, objectively identifiable. We can work it out as a mathematical equation, as simple as working out that two plus two equals four, we can work out that it is not a crime to take drugs, even if it's a bad decision. It's not a crime to involve engage in uh, consensual activities with other consenting adults, regardless of what the activity is as long as you're not violating other people or causing threat or, or harm to other people then there's no reason for anyone to say that what you're doing is criminal conversely if you certainly are violating other people and obvious examples of that would be things like murder rape theft and assault then obviously those things are going to be crime and they're not just crime because I personally think they should be or you personally think they should be or because a democratic majority has decided they should be these things are objectively identifiable as crimes just based on the simple moral truth that each individual has right over only their own self. So enforcing that as a law doesn't violate anybody's freedoms, it doesn't contradict the principle, because if we 
if we define freedom as the freedom to do what you want as long as you don't violate others, then that freedom is not only not violated by enforcing the non-aggression principles law, but that freedom is precisely what we're protecting if we enforce the non-aggression principles law. So we can force freedom as long as it really is freedom that we're forcing, because forcing freedom does not and cannot involve any violation of that same freedom. Just like enforcing the non-aggression principle as the universal law would not involve any violation of anybody's freedom because nobody has an, or anybody's rights because nobody has the freedom and nobody has the right to violate other people. So, um, so yeah, I hope that is a relatively clear explanation as to why it's not a contradiction to force freedom and it is not a contradiction to enforce the non-aggression principle as the law or the universal terms of peace as long as we are establishing this law through a peace agreement and not because and that is one other point to, that's important to make that you can't uh, establish the non-aggression principle as the law under any ruling authority because ruling authorities are themselves a violation of the non-aggression principle and that is why this would have to be established as a peace agreement so, so it's not done under anybody's authority it's just under, done under these universal te universal terms of peace that are based on the universal understanding that we all have right over only our own selves anyway i hope that is clear um, and if anybody has any questions or any other uh, scrutiny or criticisms or anything else to add please do make a comment or contact me you can contact me on my uh, website which is nationsofsanity.com facebook page nations of sanity youtube channel also called nations of sanity um, please bring the scrutiny forthcoming because i think this idea is self-evident and undeniable and i think it's a crying shame that this is not part of a mainstream conversation so i sincerely welcome anybody and everybody to come and challenge these assertions. Thank you.